Hi everyone, my name's Hannah and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, great to meet you. If you're returning, amazing. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. So what this video is about today is around the topic of personal branding and what it actually is and whether it's something you need to worry about and why do people care. So I'm a personal branding specialist and what that essentially means is that I work with people who are passionate about a topic or have a certain skill set and they want to essentially define that into a, a clear message and share that online and connect with their target audience or their target customer, create content and essentially flourish um, under their own personal name rather than under a business name. And there are, it's not for everybody having a personal brand. However, it isn't just for the extroverted crazy people. A lot of people who are experts in a field have a strong personal brand. Maybe they're not running around creating a ton of videos, but they are creating content which does engage with their target customer. So it's not just something for an influencer wannabe. It's actually for somebody who's got a, sh a message that they're passionate about and they want to share. That's essentially what it is about. And it's about establishing yourself as an expert or as a thought leader or as just somebody who's interested in a field. So it's kind of, it is for everyone, but also at the same time, if it's not something you're keen to do, that's fine too. It's not something which I sort of say that everyone's got to be interested in. So why do we care? Um, people buy from people. People don't necessarily buy from businesses. There was a, a recent study which um, I read, and I'll put this information below, that 92% of people choose to um, listen to recommendations from people rather than brands, even if they don't know the brand. So that's pretty powerful if you think about it in, in terms of how much money is spent on marketing and branding for big businesses when actually people that are sharing content or sharing recommendations are actually a lot more trusted. If you think about um, some of the biggest businesses that we know, you've got Steve Jobs for Apple, you've got Microsoft and Bill Gates, you've got Amazon and Jeff Bezos. There's often and most of the time a name behind the business and that that person, that that name behind it has built their personal brand. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about building your personal brand. You don't have to only create um, videos. You don't have to be a big YouTuber. You don't have to only create blogs, but it is about having a really clear message and a really clear thing that you're known for. So for example, for me, I want people to think of me as a personal branding specialist. So when people talk about me when I'm not there or if somebody wants to recommend me or if I stand up on a stage or if I meet somebody in a coffee shop, I wanna be really clear that I'm a personal branding specialist and what that is. And the reason that that's really, really, um, really powerful is because if people know exactly what you do, they can easily refer you. If they see something online which might be relevant to you, they can tag you into it because they know exactly what you're about. And there's a slight temptation that we all have to to keep really broad and to not niche down enough because of the fact that we think, oh, if we niche, we might lose out on opportunities. But actually having a personal brand where you're known for one thing is really, really powerful. And it doesn't mean you can't do other things. It just means that people know you for one thing until you're famous enough maybe that you can do everything and everyone's interested in, in what you do, kind of like the Kardashians where they get millions of likes on, you know, one standard video, but they did get known for something. We won't go there in the early days. So that's essentially for me what personal branding is. And the reason that I really like it is because you're helping to people to really understand what they're about, but also what their target audience is about and help those two things to join. Because if people are gonna be reading your content, it needs to be either interesting, useful, or funny. And once you understand your target audience, you can create content which is relevant to them. And that then feeds into growing your personal brand. So I think the reason I like it is that customer centric side, as well as the, the person who wants to create their brand side. So I'm really curious what everybody thinks about personal branding. So if you leave me some comments, um, I'd love to read them. And um, if you've enjoyed this video, then hit the subscribe button. If there's something I've missed, then I would love you to tell me um, so that I can make sure that I do um, cover it. Um, I'm quite new to videos. So um, yeah, I would love that. And otherwise, I will see you soon. Bye.